Hi, this is Jared, and today I want to go over my ArchiCAD 28 work environment updates. So first off, let's look at the toolbars up at the top that I've changed. So best way to show that is I'm going to click over to ArchiCAD 27, bring this down, you can see uh, what's changed. You can pause the video and look at all the details, but the primary thing is I've added right here the a button for the Keynote palette, and then I've just kind of cleaned up some other things here. So nothing major other than the adding of that button, but it's just a better version of what I had before. Okay, that's that. Next up, keyboard shortcuts. So here's a list of all my custom keyboard shortcuts. Again, you can pause the video, you can go look at the blog post that this video is part of, and you can see all this list there as well. Um, the things I want to call out are I added a keyboard shortcut for the Keynotes palette, which is option F1. So now we can just pull that on and off as we need. In my work environment, you'll notice that all the palettes tend to show up in this left corner. Favorites there, not design options at the moment because I moved them over here for purposes of this video. So one of the major keyboard shortcut changes Graphsoft made in ArchiCAD 28 is to make F the keyboard shortcut for flip. So what that is, is if you have a wall and you press F, it's going to do this reference line location flip. So the wall just flips back and forth. That's stupid and wrong. So I've gotten rid of that keyboard shortcut because that keyboard shortcut used to be switch to next item in pet palette. You can see it right there. And so let's go back and I'll just undo and draw that wall. So what that is, is if you hit F, you cycle through these. If you hit Option F or Shift F, you go backwards. That's awesome. In ArchiCAD 28, by default, it's now P for pet palette, which is dumb. And let me show you why it's dumb. So if I turn on my design options and I go to keyboard, so here's my keyboard, right? And here's the F key and here's the P key, right? So here, right, here's the G key, right? I know this is dumb, but this makes sense in a moment. In ArchiCAD, if you hit the G key, you can see here it's cycling through geometry methods, right? So G is for geometry methods and F is for pet palette. Now, if I take another photo and here's my hand, my beautiful hand, here's the F key, here's the G key. If my hand always sits right here, I can easily hit the F and G. If I have to go to P to change the pet palette, my hand has to go all the way over here and that's annoying because Again, if we look at my keyboard shortcuts, so you look at these, let's look at say uh, all of these tools. Those are the um, like modeling tools. We look at here, these are all like the labeling tools, or like uh, annotation tools. And then you go down here and look at some of your, my other things. You'll see they're all grouped, right? Uh, all my modeling tools are these keys. So you can see, let's move this over. That's a bad spot for that. You can see my hand can hit all of those keys and all those keys without moving. And if I'm doing annotation, all my annotation keys are there. And so you can see this F and G, if I'm working on something, say a, a wall, and I need to change the geometry method, I'm hitting G. And now we need to edit that and I need to go to different pet palettes. My hand doesn't move. It's all the same. So that's why F is right and P is wrong. So I fix that and you should too. So that's there. So we've talked about keyboard shortcuts. I've talked about toolbars. That's really it. I've optimistically put keynotes right up here. So tools, favorites, keynotes, because I'm not using them yet, but I think they're going to be important. So I want them right at the top. I might end up switching these two around because I really, really like design options. So maybe, maybe I'll switch that around. Anyways, the last thing I want to talk about is let's go to work environment, um, physical base rendering. So there is a new experimental, it's actually not too new. There's an experimental feature in ArchiCAD 27 and 28 called en enable physical base rendering. It's not great. It's not ready for full-time work. But I ignored it in ArchiCAD 27, and I want to stop ignoring it in ArchiCAD 28. And so to do that, I have made here under user scheme, user preference schemes, I've made 
I took my regular user or Shunome user preferences 28. And then I went down here and I turned on enable physical based rendering and I saved it as physical based rendering. And then I created a profile that is all my same standards, except this top one is physical based rendering. And let me show you why that's interesting. So here's a project. I've talked about it before. This is a townhouse development I'm working on up in Bothell, Washington. We are under construction right now. You can go to Instagram and see lots of photos of mine. So here's my 3D window. It looks great. I have tweaked the aesthetics of this over many, many years to make sure the 3D window looks beautiful and I can just share it with my clients and I can take screenshots and share it on social media. Now I can go up to apply profile and click physical based rendering and it's going to, the only difference is, let's just belabor the point here, under more options, experimental features, this is enabled. So if I uncheck that and hit okay, you can see it goes back to that. Apply profile, physical based rendering, goes to that. You can see it looks fairly different and maybe it's starting to be cool, but there's a lot of tweaks that need to happen with materials to make it look good, right? Like my buildings, my neighboring buildings, look nice here, and then in physical based rendering, they look kind of weird. So there, there's things that need to tweak, but I want this set up so I can start playing with it. And where I think there is potential in this physical based rendering is you can go inside and you can see like the sunlight coming in. That's pretty cool. If we go to this other unit, we can see it better. Let me just zoom around. I've never done 3D Explorer in ArcGIS 28 yet, but yeah, you can see here the skylights, right? That's there's, you can tell something cool is coming, but it's not there yet. But where it is neat is, let's go to here. Let's right click. Let's go to three projection settings and let's set it to like sunset. And that's pretty cool. You get, you know, you can even see the sun out there. So for starting to do some renderings or not renderings even, but just some 3D views to share with the clients that are looking at sunset and sunrise, sunrise, sunset, whatever that, um, that song is, right? So that's starting to look good. So anyways, that's the extent of this video. When you download my work environment, it won't have this separate physical based rendering set up. So you're going to have to go and go to user preferences, select yours or set up yours and then just turn that on, go to user preferences, uh, store as, name it physical based render, and then go new profile and you know pick it here and then have all this stuff the same. And then you hit okay. And then you can switch between those two. Hopefully that makes sense. If not, just ask me questions in the comments and I will happily tell you more. Anyways, that's the video. Go download my work environment, start using ArchiCAD 28. You can just use ArchiCAD 28 like you use ArchiCAD 27. There are some major changes in ArchiCAD 28 with the keynotes and with all the new libraries, but for now, I'm going to ignore that stuff and just get going in 28. So thank you very much and have a nice day.